another vlog because I couldn't film a tutorial this weekend because the boys' house is so dark and I don't have a ring light yet. So, um, you just have to deal with another vlog. But today's gonna be an exciting day. Currently, we're gonna go get our eyebrows did, maybe get our toes done. Um, and then probably go eat and then after that um, today's my big's birthday and uh, for you guys who don't know uh, what a big is it's like a big sister and uh, which means I'm in a sorority but I'll do a video talking more about my experiences with Greek life and stuff like that but yeah today's her birthday and I'm gonna go hang out with her and we're gonna go hot pot later and uh, meet up with my little sis and then um, before that, we're also we're gonna meet up and probably do a photo shoot for her clothing line, Stay Grounded, which I'm wearing right now. Um, it's also on my Instagram post. Um, but yeah, so this shirt says uh, sweatshirt says Stay Grounded in Grace. But yeah, I'm excited for this day. Uh, I guess I'll just talk to you in a little bit. Oh yeah, and I have no makeup on because I was gonna since we're getting our eyebrows done, but I'm do it later but pony is snatched for the photo shoot and hopefully it'll be better it's really cloudy right now not like perfect photo shoot weather but we'll see how it goes so what anyways hey guys, so we're currently we're, at, we're um, at the thread and can you stop oh my god he's so annoying so we're at um, Meadow Glen Mall which is just like a small little mall um, at the threading place, um, the small. It's also I also call it Ghetto Glen Mall because it's so s small. But yeah, we're just waiting for our turn to get our eyebrows threaded. I like getting my eyebrows threaded um, better than getting waxed because sometimes they like mess up when waxing and like my eyebrows don't look so fleeky. But yeah, I'm just gonna get them cleaned up since I really like my shape. And uh, yeah, the boy's also getting his eyebrows threaded to make sure his eyebrows are on fleek. But yeah, maybe we're we'll probably gonna go get pedicures after because we're divas. But we'll see. But I'm really hungry and I can't wait to eat. <laughs> He's probably gonna kill me if I put this on the vlog. But anyways, it's a little, little diva. Little diva right here, diva. But what are those? Anyways, he's boring. Finished getting my eyebrows threaded, and you, as you could tell, they're very fleeky right now. But you know now, I think we're gonna go eat or get the boys toes done. So yeah, guys, I'll, I'll be back when the more interesting stuff comes on. Yeah, so what do you guys think? They still look the same. I just got them cleaned up because um, I wanted to do an eyebrow tutorial for you guys. But um, I'll probably do it once I get back to to Amherst or like once I get a freaking background and like a ring light so but I think we're gonna go to eat now actually because he's being hangry and oh goodness the sun but uh, yeah I actually like that place because it has like an electronic like waiting system so you just like sign in and then you get like um, loyalty points when you're done or reward points which is like nice because like uh, nine threadings and you get the tenth one free but like I rarely get my eyebrows done because I have like no time or I'm too lazy or I just pluck them when it needs like to be cleaned up every other week but I'm just so lazy to do them and you know always makeup can always hide those little stray hairs but I don't know why threading is like so perfect for your eyebrows but it just hurts so much like I don't even it like hurts just as bad as like plucking every individual hair and that's why sometimes I like waxing because it's just like super quick just one rip and you're done but yeah I'll talk to you guys in a little bit so we ended up at Ch 
eating Chinese right now. And um, I know what I want. Just waiting for our waitress to take our order. But there is like a lot of choices right now. Because there's like a bunch special going on. Decisions, decisions. But I'm gonna go with the L1, the pork chow mein, and the pork fried rice with some chicken fingers. What are you gonna get? <laughs> you see those sleeky eyebrows? Oh, so gross. <laughs> Can I put that in the vlog? Can I put you in the vlog? Huh? 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 No? Why? Because you're ugly? Ugh. What a dick. Typical Chinese zodiac table mat at typical bootleg Chinese restaurants. And I am, oh, no, no, I'm not here. I am a ram born in 91. Intelligent and artistically creative, yet timid or puzzled. You seek the guidance of others, seek the hare, pig, or horse, and avoid the ox and the dog. Too bad the boy's also a ram. But yeah, I think that's actually pretty pretty accurate about how my personality is. So this is what happens when you don't critically read. I thought I was ordering pork lo mein, but it ended up to be pork chow mein, which is this. I mean, it's still good, but yeah, I expected something else. But he got this. I want one of those crab ragoons though. I'll probably stab my, me with a fork if I ever touch one. But it's still good anyways. Yeah, the pork chow mein wasn't a winner in my book. But the chicken fingers and the rice was. But I'm so full. The boy ordered another side of the lo mein. And now I'm just waiting for him to finish his food. <laughs> so we can leave <laughs> and I can get ready to see my big. So we're done with lunch now and we're gonna go home so I can get ready to hang out with my big and big sister. Yeah. Anyways, Your big sister. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we ate like really fast because that's what we do. We always eat so fast. But now I'm like, I feel like I'm in a, gonna be in a food coma. So hopefully doing my makeup will wake me up. Yeah, oh my god, me too. <laughs> yeah, you're just gonna go back to sleep. Yeah, like, oh my god. So, I just finished my makeup and I'm just waiting for my big to come to Danny's house so we can leave or film or take photos. I don't know what we're doing, but it's like, pretty dark outside so I don't think it's like optimal like, sh like shooting because it's like so dark outside so gloomy I don't know but we'll see what she wants to do but yeah anyways as I was getting ready the boy was being so annoying like I couldn't stand him like oh, like he just had to be so annoying but I'm over it now, now I'm ready. And I'm just gonna like sit here and wait until she's arrived. Um, my outfit for the shoot's probably just really basic. It's this like sweatshirt again, um, leggings, just regular black leggings. And then these like, these fly knits, these rainbow fly knits, which I really, really like. Uh, they're a little tight, but because fly knits are pretty tight, but it's fine. It's still still nice, but yeah. And then when we go out, I'm gonna wear my, my like, cheetah cheetah vest, which makes me feel like a little bit like Drake, but it's all good. Gucci. My pig was like, oh, I wanted a natural look, and so this is my natural look, which is pretty not natural because I'm wearing falsies and like I'm glowing like no other like. I don't even know, like a disco ball. So uh, yeah, this is my attempt at like a natural look, but it's 
it's not really natural. Like if, like for me, like if it's, it's if it's a natural look, then it's just like no makeup. And yeah, it's either a cake face or no makeup. There's no in between. But I mean, I guess like I can do a natural look, like just take off the lashes, put some mascara on, call it a day. But you know, we're gonna go out later, and I have to look flaky all the time. But yeah, I'll just talk to you guys later or like I'll film when she's here. My big is here right now. I'm gonna go surprise her. I think she's actually gonna come upstairs. But anyways. <laughs> Already vlogging her. Yeah, that's my big. I was gonna say I see you. Oh, like, Happy birthday! <laughs> Say hi, say hi to, to to my subscribers and my future subscribers. Hi, future subscribers, subscribe. <laughs> See, she's the greatest big, like always promoting me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get we're gonna, okay. I have to put it away now. <laughs> we're on our way to Chinatown. Hopefully, get some nice shoot. Do it like a nice. Get some nice pics. The usual route to Boston. Shoes of the day. They look so big. I think these are actually like a six or a six and a half, but they're just so big looking on my feet. Like I look like a giant. They're just so beautiful. Like, better lighting. They're like fish scales. Like, like that book, the rainbow fish book, it reminds me of that. So we were gonna go to Lawn on the D, but that turned out to be a fail because there's no like installations there right now. There's no swings, it's not, there's no lights, it's not bright there. And uh, uh, for all my like, Boston people, you probably know what Lawn on the D is, but uh, it's just like a park where there's like light installations, so it's like really cool to go and like take pictures and hang out there. Um, but it's it's not popping right now, so we're we're gonna go somewhere else, hopefully. Well, look at that guy in the car back there. <laughs> probably thinks I'm just iconic talking to some other camera, but whatever. <laughs> So plan B is going to the ICA, the Institute of Contemporary Art, that building right there, the big building right there. It actually looks really nice, so maybe we won't get kicked out for shooting there. Hopefully we got some good shots. Now it's just too dark. Yeah, and now it's just too dark. Hopefully I can show you some of the pictures later. She made me stand on this ledge here. We got yelled at. We scared some some civilians. Like they thought I was gonna like fall back to my death. But yeah, let me show you. Yeah, standing on this ledge, but woo, dropping all the way down there. Anything happened? But it's all Gucci. And we're got some decent footage for the vlog. Oh my god! I'm not, not, I'm not gonna. I, I missed missed a step, so no more uh, of, of vlogging and walking. Huh? We're done. <laughs> So we parked in Chinatown. We're actually going, or walking to uh, the store called Premark, which just opened in downtown uh, Crossing. It's sort of like a, a mix between H&M and uh, Forever 21. So I'm excited to go. It's my first time going. So we're here. Going in. Jiba 
Sheen knockoff for $18. It looks so nice. I'm so tempted to buy the green one. Oh, but I never use purses. The dilemma. The prices here are like so good actually. All the stuff here is so good. Oh, but it's like a zoo here. It's like worse than Forever 21. But what can you do? Yeah. So I'm gonna pay for my stuff. <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Yeah, I'll do a haul later, but uh, the boy's gonna be so, so mad. <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. He's gonna be like, get this shit out of my room. Uh oh. Uh. Spaghetti oh. All my big's fault. I just blame her. <laughs> Such an enabler. I mean. I'm a very supportive enabler. <laughs> yeah, she is very supportive. Uh, but, but, anyways. Uh, like my bed. <laughs> it's, like, it's on my neck but yeah we're done shopping we're gonna go drop this off at the car and then we're gonna go to Shabu and eat hot pot so excited we're here downtown Chinatown slowly also being gentrified so sad <sighs> the coffee house is closed RIP RIP but yeah Go and walk into the hot pot place or shabu, it's called. Almost there. Hopefully, it won't be like freaking packed for a table of four or like the wait's long. I'll be so disappointed. to Shabu and um, like you have to wait until everyone gets there to, in order to be seated so we decided to go to another hot pot place in Chinatown, Kaze and like it's pretty bomb here like I judge hot pot by like the seating arrangements at the restaurant not by like the food because like for me like I feel like hot pot's like all the same you just boil <laughs> the meat and the broth and that's that but yeah let me show you this place like, <laughs> the vlog snapshin. <laughs> she, she's, she's snapping me vlogging. And yeah, but this is like our like booth. Like, it's so big. Like, it's huge here. But yeah, um, we're gonna probably order some drinks because I'm more like thirsty as a. So my favorite broth is this one right here. The Chesuan Spicy. Oh, look who came! My little! Say hello to my my vlog. Yes, it's very very fun. Yes, yes, very very fun. So we're waiting for my twin to come. Um, so we're ready to order. And um, oh, speak of the devil. She's here. She's here. But she has flowers. The whole fam's here now. <sighs> yeah. Quinn, what are you, what are you doing? Watching TV. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hi. Football fan. But anyway, say hi to my my my, my subscribers. No that, that's my twin. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Subscriber. <laughs> yes. Yeah, say hi to my future so <laughs> So we got some spicy chicken nugs. Zoom so close. Reminiscent of my days, our days back at UMass. Dino spicy dino nugs. Okay, everyone's looking at me, but dig in. Yes. Okay. I'm very disappointed. You are not spicy. This is my broth. My little basic broth. My three chili peppers on it. Yes, I like to burn the taste buds off my tongue. Like, look at why this is like the hottest broth on earth. Like, look at all that chili peppers in there. Delicious. Uh, these pro uh, sauce makers are making the dipping sauce for the for the for the meat. Like, so yeah, I've decided that you're gonna make my sauce too. Okay. Yeah, that you both should make my sauce. Throw some. No, you don't need to throw any more peppers in there. I'm pretty sure there's enough 
floating in my I soup. Use, I already use soy sauce though. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Oh. It's, it's whatever. Just, just can I make sure that I have extra sauce because I'm a very saucy person. Yeah, make sure she has extra spice in her. No, no, no spice. I got the broth. Oh, just, are, you, are you sure now? Yes, yeah, just extra sauce. <laughs> so this is the infamous barbecue <laughs> dipping sauce for hot sauce. I mean hot pot. And then this is the vegetable and I got udon noodles. So yeah, but I'm gonna throw these like radishes in there first because they take forever to get soft. Some mushrooms. And then yeah, I'll just throw some veggies in already. But I'm just waiting for my meat. Okay, you can look at our green noodles. The spinach noodles. <laughs> up my lens. I ordered the Black Angus prime rib but then just got the regular one but it's more expensive but I'm assuming the way he said he's gonna take care of it. <laughs> well we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah he said he'll take care of the price difference but whatever. <laughs> but yeah I, apparently this is the fattier one which is delicious and I love fat on my meat. Okay, I'm done vlogging hot pot because I'm gonna now eat everything. We got, we got, a, we got a scorpion ball. We should have gone in for two. Wait, oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, two was right. Two would have been better. Oh no. I think we fucked up hardcore. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm, d I'm, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, it was because I want to show people that like usually I don't eat the corn that comes with like the vegetables, but they have skewers here, so no, it's easier do. to eat. <laughs> oh yeah. Sorry, I'm not a hot pot pro compared yeah. to my little. You did it wrong. No, I did not do it wrong because I don't like to eat my meat raw. It's not raw. It's when you leave it in there longer, it's cooked even more. It's still cooked. Um, yeah, well done, it's delicious. Okay, talk to you guys later. Well, we finished it. Yay! Not yet, it's still a drop. Still like, a few, like two sips left, but it's okay. It was mostly ice anyways, thank God. But yeah, Whew. we are all full and just recuperating. I'm like so red from all the alcohol, you can tell. But, you know, my makeup. Oh, there was alcohol in there. Obviously. <laughs> but my makeup skills are so good, my face isn't red. So. Yeah. Made to a tutorial on, like, you know, how to hide the Asian glow, which is actually really important for people because I, I know a lot of Asian people that got the Asian glow. I can teach them a few things. Okay, I'll stop rambling because it's probably like drunk rambling. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't know what the plan is right now, but uh, uh, I guess I'll, you know, update you guys later. So, we're off to location number two. We're going to a bar in like Alston called the Patron. And, uh, yeah. I'm not really down for it, but you know what? I'll do anything for my big. It's her day, so. And plus, she's my ride, so I can't really go anywhere. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll check in in a little bit. So this is the bar, pretty dead right now, but it's only like 9.30, but <laughs> me and my big are trying to, trying to bounce a half an hour. Got some pool tables here. Twin, too busy watching the game, like always. Yeah, for anyone interested, this, this is the place. Uh, Patron Mexican Kitchen and Watering Pole. So my twin got some pepper spray in there. So she doesn't know if it works or not. 
and uh, we left the bar and now we're gonna go home and sleep and uh, yeah so I'm gonna end the vlog today was a great day I had a blast with my big my little and my twin and yes everyone go wish my big a happy birthday because she's the best big in the whole entire world but yeah so I'll see you next time guys bye Oh hey guys, we're just going on our way home right now and like, you know, just super tired, super full. Hey guys, I'm in my bed now, just waiting for Whitney to get back. And yeah, just let me know what you think about this. So, hey guys, the girl went to go buy some groceries at market basket so i'm here alone I'm just waiting for her to come back so yeah and it's very cloudy outside as you can see the birds are out the birds are chirping because like you know that's life but let me tell you this, like, I got all these crumbs on my jacket, and, like, it's hideous. Like, I just can't wait to go home. So I'm just gonna wait for her till she comes back, so I, we can just go home. Because it's not a good day for me. It's, it's just not my day right now. So, yeah, I'll talk to you when I get home.